I'm going to talk to you about the detailed research-based paragraph in an academic paper or a thesis. This kind of paragraph has one theme, and that theme is clearly stated in the first sentence. So something like anxiety can lead to negative attitudes towards mathematics and result in reduced success on mathematics tasks. And then immediately after, several authors are cited and those are the authors that will be discussed in this paragraph. Now those authors are researchers who have uh, completed studies and so each research article will be summarized in a single sentence. That's typical. Details are important like the type of study, number, and type of participants. So in this first case, divine reported in a quasi-experimental study, that's the type of study, of 120, that's how many, and their grade 7, 8, and 10 participants. So we get a good idea of what this was about, that students with high math anxiety had significantly lower mathematics scores and final exams than students with low math anxiety or low anxiety. Okay, so that's a summary. That's a good summary of that study. And then we talk about Mutodi, and I've used a different word here. I don't keep saying reported, so it's good to have a variety there. So indicated, and then here it's Park et al's, a study noted. Uh, and the other thing is you want to use an active tense here. So you wouldn't say a study by divine. You would say divine reported. Mutadi indicated, park it out, noted. Okay, so there's an active sense. Uh, you're not you're not saying was. It was reported. Um, it's a subtle thing, but active tense is preferred over passive tense. So quick review. You have the topic sentence here what, about what the paragraph is about, followed by a number of authors. In this case, three authors, and each of their studies is summarized in a sentence in turn. 